Landmark family, I hope you are all having an awesome start to your 2024. Today, I want to share a devotion with you from a pretty familiar passage of scripture, Matthew chapter 8, starting with verse 23. And when he had got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So I want to share with this a personal story. Over Christmas break, we were traveling and we were on a flight back from Phoenix and we were flying on a day when there were so many storms in this area. So as we're coming back, thankfully we didn't have delays or we didn't have to divert, but the pilot decided we're just gonna go through it. So he comes on and he tells us about halfway through our flight, he said, hey, we're gonna clean up the cabin early and we are going to start um, hitting a little bit of turbulence. So we just wanna make sure everyone's safe, be buckled, and I remember him saying, it's not going to be bad turbulence, but we just want to be safe. Um, for the next 40 minutes, the plane rocked and shook and bumped, and it was the worst not-so-bad turbulence that I've ever been on. Um, and beside me was my 10-year-old son, Oaks, and Oakley was sitting there just listening to a movie, had his AirPods in. He's just focused on that. And I remember thinking, man, he's pretty calm for how rough this plane ride is. And about that time, he looks up at me and he takes his AirPod out and he said, very just matter of factly, he says, Mom, are we crashing? And I was just like, uh, no, bud, we're not crashing. And I said, we're just going through a storm. And he said, oh, okay. And he puts the AirPod back in and watches the movie and just continues on the flight. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there like, are we crashing? Like, I'm not really sure um, because this is some bumpy, bumpy, um, flight happening here. But as we landed, we, we get all of our stuff together and Oakley looks up at his dad and he said, dad, you know, I thought we were crashing. And David said, well, you were pretty calm for someone who thought we were crashing. And Oakley said, oh no, I asked mom. And she said, we weren't. And in that moment, I felt like the Holy Spirit spoke to me and was like, this is what you're going to share for your devotion. And it's the fact that my son asked me and I told him it was going to be okay. And so he trusted me that it was going to be okay. And it's like, why aren't you like that with me? When the father tells us it's going to be okay, why do we not trust him with that same regard? If we look back at our passage of scripture, you can go back to verse 18 and it says there, now when Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to go to the other side. He had already told them they were gonna make it to the other side. So when the disciples woke him up, they shouldn't have been afraid. He had already made the statement and it was gonna happen. So here in your 2024, um, I hope that your boats are smooth sailing and your flights are clear skies and that your life just goes perfectly. But just in case there are storms and trials and things that you're not sure if you're gonna make them through, um, I just encourage you this year that you just ask the Father, are we gonna be okay? What do you want me to do? How can I get closer to you and sit beside you during this time? Make sure that as long as he's with you in the boat or beside you on the flight, it is going to be okay. And I just pray that you trust in him the way that we should this year. Let me pray for you. God, we just come before you during this January of 2024, and we are so thankful um, that we're here, that we've made it this far. And God, we are trusting this year that you have even more and better for us. And God, as we go through this year, if anything comes up that has us questioning why, or are we going to make it through? Are we crashing, God? I pray that you would just help us to truly just lean into you, that we would trust you with your answer, and that we would look to you every time. I thank you, and I praise you, and I pray blessings over each and every person watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.